I definitely like my face better with a filter. But anyways, this is the real me. Welcome to my YouTube channel. A lot of you guys know I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for a long time for my makeup and for my food. So that's how I came up with Glam Gourmet 604. Um, I've been wanting to do it for so long, but I just, when I do YouTube videos, I get all weird and I, I get this like, I try and be girly sounding when I naturally sound like a man. So I'm really gonna get, gonna let loose and just be me. And um, yeah, there's no fancy lighting, there's no editing. So I'll tell you right now, this is just raw footage. This is just me. And there's just some stuff that I wanna share with you guys. And I feel like now's the time and I'm ready to do this channel. It's been almost one week since I had my amazing birthday and I turned 31. And it's also been almost three weeks since I was diagnosed with breast cancer. <clears throat> I know. I know it sounds scary. I, I got over it. I'm over it. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys won't judge me for being so public with it, but that's how I am. I'm a Leo. I wear my heart on my sleeve and I always have. So if anyone's offended by my publicness of this announcement, well, that's just who I am. Anyway, um, yeah, I know it sounds scary. The word sounds really scary. Trust me, the scariest part was telling my parents, but I'm not sure if a lot of you know this, but my older sister also uh, just went through treatment and she has cancer, but a different kind of cancer than I do. So she kind of paved the way for me and made it just a little bit easier to tell my parents. Um, I basically just wanted this channel so that I could tell my family and my friends that live far away how I'm doing and kind of just take you on this journey with me because I don't know what to expect and I feel like this is going to be a really therapeutic thing for me and um, now that I'm taking some time off work I'll have a lot of time to just talk to you so I want to just let you guys know what's going on and I want to incorporate my food life and my makeup life into it like I'll show you what products I use in my brows and what my makeup will look like after surgery I probably won't wear that much makeup but I will wear eyebrows and yeah my surgery is Monday it's a minor surgery um, I found it early I found it at stage one which is really really good it was a blessing and weird how I found it because I literally just sat up in bed one morning and thought to myself hmm I should check my boobs so I did I found something and then so on and so on and it turned out to be the c word that I hate saying um yeah so I, I want to take you guys on the journey with me and also if anyone out there that's also watching just needs comfort wants to talk about it and just see that it's okay to live with the C word, then that's what I, I hope to do. I hope just to make everyone more comfortable with it and know that it's not a death sentence for me. It just gives me more reason and opens my eyes more to just living life to the fullest. And it sounds like a death sentence and it probably sounds like life just took a hot steamy dump on me but I don't know why maybe it just hasn't hit me yet I feel really good I feel really positive I have so much love from my family my boyfriend my friends I feel so much love and love heals everything all you need in life is love and tater tots that's all that's all I need love and tater tots so yeah um I really hope to incorporate my makeup videos and my food videos because I think that will come into play. Um, I know that I might not need chemo, which is really, really great news. It's not ruled out, but I may not need it, which means I won't lose my hair, which is good. So pray for that. Um, I will need radiation and um, I would really love to change my diet after this and, you know, eat more alkaline do the alkaline diet so that will involve some new cooking videos from me i'm sure i couldn't really commit to a youtube channel before because i just was lazy just to do it all the time and find the time to do it but i guess now i have all the time in the world and yeah i really hope that 
you guys will follow me on this journey um, and just promise to keep you entertained and inform you on what's going on. Um, my family in Hong Kong, just Hong Kong <laughs> and friends um, kind of all over the world. So I just want you guys to know I'm still here. I'm still me. I'm still doing okay. And I'll just keep you updated. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you don't think I'm weird. And just know that there is life after cancer and it will be okay. And if anyone wants to talk about it, if anyone wants to ask me anything or whatever, if you want to talk about makeup or food, I got time now. I'm going to be burning a hole in my couch, a Julia shaped hole. So message me. I'm Glam Gourmet 604 on Instagram or leave a comment below and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.